What is up everybody? Okay, it's a big day. It's squirrel season time. I'm headed out there. Water, the water management area season uh, opened this week. Super pumped about it. This is something that brings me back to my childhood days. I got the clothes on, I even got the, even got the rubber boots. We're ready. I'm headed out there right now. Here we go. It's literally been raining for like last week. It's like just been nasty, drizzly, and today it's like 40 degrees. I guess the whole like we didn't even have a fall straight in the winter. So I think the squirrels are gonna be moving today. I think they're gonna be moving. This is one of my this is one of my most favorite things to do. It brings me back to my kid days. Got the old 870 back there. She's sleeping. Got that thing for Christmas when I was like 12. So been with me a long time. We're gonna make it whistle here in a minute. Well, I don't know about this. Well, it looks like I ran into a little of a, a roadblock here. <laughs> the road. It's supposed to go that way. It's covered with this. I think I can cross it. It's about six inches deep. I'll probably be fine. It looks to be gravelish. See? Pretty much the road. I don't think I'll get stuck, but I don't know about this chair though. <laughs> on public land you know looks like I'm gonna make it <laughs> no four-wheel drive here it wasn't that bad it was just kind of it was just kind of deep it was like maybe six inches deep you never know though you never know Alright guys, so it's a few days later, the river came way too high and I had to wait for it to go down. We're gonna give it another shot. We're going after them. We're on my 22 today. Got her sighted in. Taking it back in. Got him right to the face. It's getting too dark to stay in here. Well, that was a fun day. Hey, I tried. I shot one, got him first shot. The other one, he was up there in the stratosphere and he's fixing to go in a hole. And I said, you know what? I can't. I can't let him do it. I can't let him do it. I got I gotta I gotta try my fate. Shot another time left-handed, but he knew I was there. That's a fact, Jack. I only needed like one or two. Because I got one in the freezer, I got one, and there might be another one in the freezer. Might be enough for a squirrel pot pie or something. I'm going to bring them back to Samantha and see what she can do with them. I wonder who this is. Some teenagers. There's somebody dumping a body.
Well, that was odd for them to be in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of nowhere with their lights half off. And they just shut them off even further. That's weird. Hope there's no weirdness going on down there. Because I got their decal and their tag. If anybody needs it, I got it. All right, everybody, so it's the next day and I talked Samantha into cooking the squirrels. We got three of them, I'm fixing to get weird with it. So tender, it's falling apart. Yeah. All right, Samantha, so what are you doing? Okay, so this morning before I left for work, we put the squirrel in the crock pot with chicken broth, garlic, salt, and pepper. So take a look. Looks It'll good. Cook on low all day. So now we're going to drain some of this liquid and then add our ragu ingredients over here. Ragu! Yay! We're gonna put the ragu on this pasta. I've never had it before. It looked really fancy, so I thought, why not? It's a cold one. Two bay leaves. Do. Three cloves of garlic, so that means three squeezes. I already have garlic in there from earlier, so there we go. We like garlic. We like garlic. Half of an onion. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. So tomato paste, I didn't know they had that. Yeah, it's double concentrated. It looks like something you're gonna brush your teeth with. I know, don't do that. It's just really concentrated tomato, so it gives it that burst of flavor. Mm. Yep, just tomato paste. So three tablespoons, so I just eyeball it. You can always add more. Two cans of diced tomatoes. About a tablespoon of dried oregano. Tablespoon of basil. So what makes you say a tablespoon? Do you know that or are you just automatically using a tablespoon? Well, I looked up some recipes and just kind of saw what people do online and just adjusted it. So between one and two tablespoons was normal. So we're gonna stick with one and then see how it tastes. Salt and pepper. And then for the best ingredient in this whole thing, wine. Wine? Do I get to have the rest? Not, yeah, later. <laughs> so about a half a cup or so. What kind of wine is that? This is a Cabernet. So just any red wine that you'll want to drink. Is that the two buck, truck, two buck Chuck from Trader Joe's? Yeah, this is Trader Joe's. We love to drink it, so we thought it'd taste good in this. And that's it. So we're just going to stir this together. And then let it um, simmer for a couple of hours and then I will taste it and then make some adjustments and we'll shred up the squirrel how tender it is it's already shreddable yeah we'll uh, shred up the squirrel put it in here and then cook the pasta should be really good and really easy all right we'll see you in a couple hours when it's dinner time we gotta eat these guys yum all right everybody it's time it's time to get them out. And we gotta cut them up. We gotta get all the meat off of this thing. And she's gonna supervise. Mm -hmm. They're already falling apart, so. Let's fall off the bone good.
So this was three squirrels, three, or three, three, three. And uh, we got quite a bit of meat here. Check it out, hold on. We got, so we got the bones on this side. It really wasn't that hard to, uh, to get segregated. Or Look get, at these uh, ribs. Yeah, it wasn't too hard to get them separated. And that's the meat on three squirrels. And we're gonna pour it into the pot. So what's next, Samantha? All right, so next, um, we're just gonna let this cook for a minute while the pasta finishes. And then we're gonna plate it and top it with a little Parmesan cheese. Woo -woo! Gotta have cheese. Here's the, the pasta. And that was Baxter's bone. And uh, this is the wine over here. Two buck chuck, Trader Joe's. It's actually three buck chuck now. Three buck chuck. Yeah, two ninety nine now. I think I'm gonna have a glass. All right, Samantha, show us this goodness. All right. It's nectar of the forest floor. It's like spaghetti. Yeah, it's kind of like a well, it's a tomato-based sauce. So hey man, that looks looks some kind of good. You want me to hold it? Or... All right, Samantha, you want to do the taste test? You do it first. You do it first. Yeah. Or do you want me to? You can go first. All right. See? Big old piece. There we go. There we go. We're focused. Okay, here we go. It's a good buy right there. Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's worth mm. me going out there chasing all Yeah, that is so good. <laughs> the squirrel meat is so tender and very um, moist inside. The seasonings and tomato sauce just really brings the um, gaminess out of it a little bit. Yeah. It's a good balance. Very All right. good balance. Well, I'm gonna fix me a plate and you definitely second it. Yeah. Say, do it again. Do it again. Gotta go chase these little critters now. All right, everybody, I'm gonna fix me a plate. It means I gotta go kill a bunch more of these little guys. Samantha wants to talk to y'all. I'm just gonna hold it so they can see you taste oh, it. Oh, oh, I gotta taste it, I gotta taste it. Here's your plate. Ready? We're tasting it, everybody. Mmm, that's good. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Has a little bit of garlic and you can really better taste the herbs. Yeah. I think it's better than beef, cleaner than beef. All right, guys, that's it. Until the next squirrel killing episode, see you guys later.